Over the past two years, there have been a lot of empty seats here at Mun Arena. Adam Nightingale and this team have brought life back to the program. This place has been full and loud this whole year, including some sellouts. Expect this place to be rocking once again with Notre Dame here this weekend. I think if you go back to the start of the year, it wasn't that way, and it's built over time. So I think I've said it before, thankful. We have a lot of people that put a lot of work in to, to get people in our building, but at the end of the day, we got to put a product on the ice that people are excited about watching. The seniors on this team have been through some of the darker days. They know the feeling of an empty arena and how much different this year has been. There definitely are some times where maybe uh, the crowd wasn't as rowdy and it always is fun when you come out even just for warm-ups and you see that there's already a crowd in attendance and I think that's something that this team has, has earned this year is, is the fans trust back. So exactly how much difference has the crowd made? The Spartans are 9-4-1 at home. On the road, they have just four wins the whole season. Now that we kind of have three games at home coming up, I think it's really exciting to, to kind of use that crowd and, and our advantage that we've had here uh, that we used in the first half uh, and really see how we progress against teams that we played maybe earlier on. On the ice this weekend will be a critical series. The Spartans are a 500 club, fifth in the Big Ten, yet just one win out of second place. We want to have real confidence, not and not fleeting confidence. And sometimes, when, you know, when you base your confidence off of results, um, it can be fleeting. You know, so we we're, we're focused on the process. And, you know, I think true confidence comes from preparation and doing things the right way. And A good stretch run for the Spartans, and they can find themselves right here on home ice hosting a Big Ten tournament game. Reporting from Monday Serena, Thomas Cook, Fox 47 Sports.